Hey guys, uh, video number three for uh, day three is the final one for today. Um, it's 1.30 in the morning, um, and I just cut video number two, uh, which if you, you probably saw it because it was about 10 minutes ago that I made it, so I'm probably, I probably posted up on Facebook or on YouTube prior to this one to keep things in order. Um, and it's, it's funny too because I realize how consistent I'm being with this. And this, you know, this this challenge is a video challenge. These uh, three day, three videos a day for seven days challenge came off of a conference call that I heard. Uh, probably about I don't know five, six thousand, maybe more or so people were on. And uh, the the host, the person that was talking on on the phone, basically just threw that out there. Say, hey, let's I'm gonna put out a challenge out there, uh, a challenge for you guys to take just take massive action, you know, in your businesses and just put work out there. And I took it. And I ran with it. There's a couple people that I that you know business partners of mine that I know um, that are doing the same thing. So I was like, you know what, I want to do. I want to challenge myself because I've been trying to be more consistent with videos and putting out more content, things like that. Um, so I was like, this would be a perfect time for me to do that. And you know, hopefully you guys are getting value from this stuff. Um, I'm not even trying to rank any of these videos really um, to put them, you know, to rank them on page one or of uh, YouTube or Google, anything like that. You know, this is these are one of the things that. Um, that it just requires for me to, to kind of, you know, develop myself and to, to move forward in the areas that I want to. I know that it takes massive action. I know that it takes consistency. And I can't, you know, be talking about all these topics and things like that and be preaching all this stuff and not be doing the work myself. So this is, some, this is how I, you know, I hold myself accountable to, to the work that I know that I need to be doing. And... Uh, and basically, you know, I remember a time where I was really bad at being consistent at, you know, at specific work that was required to get certain uh, results and what I was working on at the time. And the one thing I could tell you, it's not really the topic of the video, but the one thing I can tell you that if you're having trouble um, staying consistent with work that you want to do, you, the work that's required to get results that you're looking for, it's probably because you're not in a mind frame or, or a place in your life where it's time for change, you know, um... I used to be really bad at being consistent, and you know I, that was you know a, uh, you know personality problem, something that I, you know I take responsibility for, or you know, and it's also something you know, that came with the type of work that I needed to do to get the results that I was looking for. But the one thing I could tell you is, um, you need to know why you wake up every single morning. You need to be working towards something that's really, a really, really like the most important thing to you, something that keeps you up every single night because you'd rather be doing that or even if you you just you'd just rather be sleeping you know that the work that you're putting into you know is work under your belt and it gets you a step closer to to your goals you know so you don't want to go to sleep because you know there's always work to do um the same thing you know with waking up you want to jump out of the bed and the first thing that i think about when i get out of the bed man is what i need to do that day oh i need to get i'm working on this challenge i got to roll out of the bed and you know do these videos and things like that or else i'm gonna fall behind and all this stuff and everything that i gotta do else you know in my business stuff like that i just that's what i focus on the entire day it's all if i did multiple videos i was cutting videos i was sending emails you know you know uh setting up lead sources and all this stuff the entire day this is what i do is what i think about at all times no matter what i'm doing or where i am this is what i'm thinking about because i know that this is what's gonna get me what i want and that's, you know, kind of like a side rant. It's not really the topic of the video, but the topic of the video, and I want to keep the video short, um, um, it's, it's about, you know, not settling for, for less in your life. Uh, I remember in a, in a conference call or an audio that I listened to uh, a couple weeks ago, the, the gentleman on the phone was basically talking about that at some point, you know, when we were kids, you know, uh, you know, maybe your parents told you, you know, you could be whatever you want to be. People say, yeah, I want to be, a, you know, a firefighter. I want to be an astronaut, things like that. You could be whatever you want to be. You know, and then you start getting into like your teenage years, things like that. You start, you know, being a little bit more aware. You see what reality really is. You can kind of see how the world is for yourself. You start developing, you know, your own consciousness. Um, you start realizing that, that people are playing small. Uh, at a certain point, when you were, a, you know, when you came from being a kid with a completely open mind, everything was fresh, you had no negative thoughts, no bad habits, none of that stuff. You believe that you can do anything you want to do. You had all these dreams and goals and ambitions. And then as you grow older, they start to just shrink and shrink and shrink and shrink and shrink. And so you have all your goals in about that big of a bubble. And what I've realized is that your goals and ambitions 
are like proportionate to 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 your belief and your self image, um, and just like what other people tell you, uh, your environment, your, the people that are in your circle of influence, what they got going on, and a lot of times it's also uh, tied to how much money you make. What do you do for work? And like if you know, I want to have uh, I don't know, I want to live in you know in the middle of nowhere or something like that, and it's, or I want to have a really big home and that's a multi million dollar home and. If that's one of your goals, something you want to have, and you don't believe that you can do that based on what you've already done before, based off of what other people that you know are doing, and based off how much money you make, then, you know, I guess, you know, people think you're crazy for thinking that you can still do it anyway, or it's because you just, I don't know, it's like a, like an automatic response that your mind does, that just kind of like, you start, you know, shrinking the, the, the dream a little bit, so that you can feel like it's more realistic, right? Because people are going to tell you, be realistic. All that is, is just saying play it safe be like me and that's what i hear when people say that um because the reality is it's not realistic that we fly across you know continents in an airplane filled with 300 people you know that's not realistic and you know just imagine if you know you know, if just everybody that creates awesome things and and does really 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 big things in their lives and creates all these inventions and all these new uh, scientific things if all they did was you know be realistic just because somebody else hasn't done it doesn't mean it cannot be done somebody has to not be realistic and be a little bit irrational to to believe that something else can be done other than what's already been done right but at a certain point we just start playing small and we start accepting oh you know this is this is how it is and the one thing i can say is that just because mediocrity is common and poverty is common doesn't mean that it's normal it's just not normal you know and if you start playing that way and you start allowing yourself to, to, to think that way and act that way, then what ends up happening is you just start this vicious cycle where now you have a, a, a life filled with, with uh, just this, this limited mentality, this, this, this limitation in everything that you do, a block that you put in front of you before you do anything because that's how you've trained and programmed yourself and conditioned yourself to act or to think every single time automatically. And you create this, this 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 cycle, which would eventually get passed down to your kids and your kids' kids if somebody doesn't break the cycle, right? And the, the point of the video is so that, you know, if there's something that you've been wanting to do for a long time, that you've always wanted to do, is to let you know that you can do that. If you would just, if number one, you need, again, it starts everything starts in your mind. So if you don't believe that you can do that, you need to start getting around people that have already done it or that are much further ahead you know along than you in that specific area that's going to start raising your belief level because everything starts with your mentality and your belief system your self image uh one thing i learned a long time ago is that you're you, you know you're we, you know i talk about business a lot so um they said that your business will not outgrow your self image and that's 1000% true because somebody who who doesn't believe that they can make you know ten thousand dollars a month is not going to make ten thousand dollars a month because they've tied a specific self image to a specific dollar amount and their mind their self image doesn't allow them to make more than that because they, they believe they're heat they're not worthy of that they don't they don't act like a person that makes ten thousand dollars a month so they never make ten thousand dollars a month you see what i'm saying so um you need to start educating yourself uh get really into self-development and things that raise your belief level. Everything stems from your belief belief level. You can't do anything that you don't believe you can. It's that, it's that simple. Once you start raising your belief level, things will start changing for you because you start realizing that you can do things that maybe you didn't think you could or other people were telling you that you can. The point is so that you can start raising you know, your own, your own uh, uh, self-value and your own confidence level and your self-image, self-esteem to the point where you no longer feed off of or you no longer look for validation or consent or permission from anybody else that may be trying to keep you down that may be negative and you don't look to the left and right you know to see or, or to feel if you can accomplish something you know big you need to be able to say you know I got an idea this is what I want to do and run with it you, without without even telling anybody you know one of the things that you also got to get good at is um, knowing knowing what your association is, who your association is, and not talking to the wrong people about goals you have. Um, and that's usually where it starts first. But, I mean, I would I would just recommend that you stay away from people that don't, you know, believe in what you're doing, support what you're doing. You know, I've, I've been really good at that. I don't 
I have no need to tell people what I'm doing or whatever. If I, if I, you know what I'm saying? Because again, you just need to be at the point in your life where you don't, you don't need, you know, obviously you'd rather have, you know, some people support you, but don't look for it is what I'm saying. You know, once you get to that point where you've raised your self image, your self worth enough to where you say, you know what, I'm just going to stop doing what everybody else is telling me to do. I'm going to stop living a uh, life that I don't want to live. I'm going to stop selling for less. I'm going to stop being average. I'm going to stop being mediocre. I'm going to stop being like around, uh, like everybody else around me. I'm going to stop uh, living this lifestyle that I don't want to live. And I'm going to stop letting people uh, sell me crap and feed me garbage in a spoon with a spoon about how life is supposed to be, about what's the norm, what's realistic, you know? Because the only thing that's realistic is what you allow yourself to believe is realistic. You can do whatever you want to do. And don't let other people's limitations, their own insecurities and, and, and limits to affect you. Because it's not you. Don't let somebody else live your life because you might as well go shoot yourself because you're not living. You're just not living. You're allowing somebody else to, to live their life and yours. That's crazy. You see what I'm saying? Nobody out here is better than you. Do what you want to do. And if you set out, I don't. it doesn't matter if you want to climb a damn building or you, know, you want to fly. You can do it if you spend the time and the energy and the resources in that area. You see what I'm saying? But you got to stick with it. You got to stick with it and you got to believe that you can do that and get around people that believe that you can do it and that are going to support you even if they've never done it. But stay away from people that are going to keep you down because they they just want to keep everybody else down so they feel better. I've heard it like this. They talk about this, this reducing the suck factor, right? There's just people that you'll tell somebody, oh, I'm going to do something great. And immediately, oh, but... Have you thought about this? But what about that? You can't do it because of this. Did you know that? Da -da -da. No, you can't. That's not going to work because... And, you know, every single reason in the book, even if they're just making things up at a certain point, they just keep you where you're at. So stay away from people like that. Start uh, developing yourself. Start raising up your own self, uh, self-worth, self your self-confidence, your self-image, your self-esteem. Start reading, listening to audio. Start attending, you know, different, uh, you know, seminars and things like that to start boosting yourself up because everything starts with your mind and how much you believe in yourself that's number one then figure out you know hey I've always wanted to do this thing start working on it if it's gonna take a couple of years start working on it now it's not gonna get any better in the future it's not just gonna happen on its own you need to do it consciously and purposely every single day you know there's certain habits that you need to put in place on a daily basis to make it happen and you know just be be that person that could just continue moving forward that believes in what they're doing they're gonna do it with or without anybody else you're not looking left and right for you know recognition or or, or or permission or consent or support you're just not looking for it because you know that chances are you're not gonna get it you know and just be that that, that person that's really grounded and can really focus on what they're doing and just you know you know put blindfolds on and just do what you got to do and just Stop settling for less. Don't let anybody's, uh, you know, limitations affect you and keep you down where you're at. Just because everybody else is, you know, in this this, this rat race and their their lives are mediocre, they got nothing going on, and they just focus on, you know, living somebody else's life. Or oh, look at this person, the goodest person on TV, they're so famous, oh that's awesome, or whatever. And they just start just looking outwards for, you know, just to feel a little bit more successful because they're not doing anything with their lives. Don't be that person. You can have all the success you want to have as long as you believe that you can do it and that you want to do it bad enough and that, you know, you just realize that you don't need the support from everybody else. Just do what you got to do on a daily basis and you move forward. And I will tell you what's going to happen. It's going to be the deal closer for you. What's going to end up happening is the people that, that always thought you couldn't do it or said you couldn't do it or wished that you couldn't do it, they started coming around. They realized that, damn, that your your conviction and your work ethic is way stronger than their negativity. They realize no matter what I say or what I do, this person's gonna do it. Now I'm gonna look stupid. So I either either shut up or I or I at least act like I support them because this person's gonna blow everybody else out of the water. So that's like a self defense mechanism that they're gonna have. So when you walk in that room and you're successful and you accomplish exactly what they thought that you couldn't do or they thought that it was crazy if you even tried it or you're crazy for risking it. Now they're going to feel stupid. Be that person that just removes all the excuses and does whatever the hell they want to do when they want to do it and screw everybody else and then make everybody else look dumb and make them look inward and realize, damn, you know what, the entire time I was just telling him that they, he can't do something when all in all reality, all that they were doing was just, you know, putting their own self, uh, you know, uh, insecurity out there, you know, and just wanting you to feed into it so they could feel better about themselves. So guys with that, you know, just, just start dreaming, uh, do break things. Whatever it is that you want to do, just do it. Just do it.
forget about what everybody else, everybody else is doing and saying. You can do whatever you want and don't settle for less. You know, don't don't think that oh your life is just your job. I'm a work. Okay, I'm successful because I have a job now. Everybody has a a job, but everybody also is also mediocre and has and lives an average lifestyle, right? So it's the people that just step out of the comfort zone. You know, everything that you want is literally right outside of your comfort zone. You know, don't be scared to step out there on faith and, and do something different that you've never done and to pursue the things that you always really wanted to, to, to achieve. You know, there's no point in having some job or whatever that you that sounds good, some type of supervisory position or something, whatever, making X amount a year when you're, you don't live a fulfilled lifestyle and everything you do just has, like, no meaning. You're not satisfied when you go to sleep and when you wake up. You know, look for things that satisfy you, that, that make you happy because that's what you were designed for it. And don't expect somebody else to be happy uh, when you're doing it because that's not what they were designed for. You see what I'm saying? So um, hopefully you got something out of that. If, uh, if you don't if you don't believe in you and somebody else doesn't believe in you, well, hey, I believe in you. If they have a problem, they can come talk to me about it because I'm one of those people that will put them right in their place because I know where I'm at and I'm focused and I'm moving forward and I move bricks and I'm a, and I'm a shaker and a mover and I have walls up where... Other people's negativity doesn't affect me anymore. So um, hopefully, you know, some of that will rub off on you. So um, hopefully you guys got something out of that. Um, it's a powerful message. You know, I see people all day long, man. They're just like zombies just walking around. They have, like, no no joy at all. They're not pursuing anything. There's nothing. There's no passion there. They're not passionate about anything. The only thing they, they have is to talk about things that they don't like and complain because they're not, you know, they're not progressing moving forward towards something that they actually do like and would love and, and enjoy doing, you know. So, um. With that said, guys, I will see you tomorrow for day four, videos one through three. All right, guys, have a good night, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.